Hey, what's up? Tyson France with Motion Revolver here. Thanks a lot for purchasing the Broadcast News Lower Thirds for Adobe Premiere. We'll dive right in here to show you how to customize the project. Uh, obviously, you've already found the Tutorials folder, but if you have not yet watched these files or viewed these files, please do so so that you know exactly where to copy and install the Mogurt files uh, so that Premiere can uh, load them properly and we can uh, jump right into Premiere and get started here. So. Uh, I'm actually going to type in uh, broadcast right into the um, search bar here so that we can solo out these templates and then we don't have to sift through all of the other files that um, are preloaded into uh, the essential graphics panel. So um, I already have a piece of footage here just an aerial clip of Hawaii so that we have some uh, vi a video plate to display these graphics on top. Uh, right, so going back to the essential graphics panel, we have four options here. Uh, one line, lower third, two line, three line with the breaking news. These all have breaking news uh, options and then the ID panel. So we'll quickly go through each one of these. Drop that into the timeline. Uh, the, the red frame you just saw there, which typically means that there's missing media somewhere, uh, that's typical for motion graphics templates. It's just loading in the attributes. Um, it typically doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the project. Uh, it's just uh, it's just sort of loading all of the customization features and everything. So um, just to kind of scrub through here and show you what this looks like, might actually take a minute to update. Once everything's loaded, it'll play back a little bit smoother. but. Um, if we click on the Mogurt layer and then go to our essential graphics panel and make sure that the edit tab is activated, we can see all of the customization options that we have here. It's pretty extensive, so we can edit quite a few different things. First thing at the top, the main color. As you can see, this sort of denotes the main color of the graphic. So if we want to change that to maybe uh, something more like red, we can do that, tint the entire thing red. We can also change the text color, but we'll leave that white. And then if we had our uh, two line lower third activated, we would actually have uh, a secondary text color. Or actually, I'm sorry, this text color B actually corresponds to this nightly news. So let's actually change this back to blue. And then if we wanted this nightly news maybe to be like a red so that it sticks out, we could actually change it to that. Or we can do something more like uh, use our little uh, eyedropper tool here and make that blue as well. All right, and then we can change, we can customize the position of the graphic left and right and uh, vertically as well. We can also change the scale up and down. So, and then as far as the text goes, we can update that. We have our network title, which is Envato. Uh, we can change that to um, say it's like CNN or something like that. And nightly news um, could be like the show name. So, uh, you can even change that to daily news, something like that. See how that updates. And then we have our time and our temperature. So, 12.53 p.m., let's say it's a. Uh, 8:45 a.m. and if the temperature is not 96 degrees, let's say it's 47 degrees. Update that as well, and then we have our text line one. Whoops. And you can see how that all updates there. And then we have the option to uh, display a breaking news tab. So obviously, if you have a breaking news event and uh, you want your you know, graphic to display over that footage, you can do that here. You can even change the text. It doesn't have to be breaking news and it doesn't have to be so urgent. We can change the color to can even make this like, um, let's say like kind of the same color and then change this to uh, something less less urgent now coming up later something like that 
So that's the one line graphic. If we go back to browse, we'll deactivate that layer. We'll grab our two line, which um, is pretty much the exact same thing as our one line. It just has that additional line of text here. So we'll delete that and uh, look at our lower third CTA, which is basically for uh, you know larger amounts of text, more like block text. We can type in whatever we need here, we can deactivate the breaking news panel. And then last but not least, our little ID. So if we just wanted the left side graphic without the bar, um, if we just wanted our you know time and temperature with our network news, we can do that as well. We can even scale it down a little bit. Could move it up in the top corner if we wanted to. So, but I think that pretty much covers it. All of these uh, motion graphics templates pretty much share the same customization features, and um, I don't think I missed anything. But uh, once again, thanks a lot for your purchase and good luck with your project. Mm -hmm.